So my earliest memories as a kid was my mother taking us from shelter to shelter. We would go live in a shelter because he had beaten her up so bad or beat us kids up. And it wasn't until I was 12 that my mother died and my father died. And I was like, praise the Lord. I was never going to be beat again. I was never going to have my father put his cigarettes out on my leg again. I wasn't going to have anyone touch me again. And then I went into the system. And I had a neighbor that took me in. I carried a trash bag to their home. I remember carrying it up their driveway. I remember pulling out the torn and tattered clothes. I remember people just didn't care about kids like me. And then all of a sudden I turned 18 and I was a senior in high school. Never forget it, the fall of my senior year. Two weeks after my 18th birthday, instead of celebrating because school was almost over, I got my trash bag and became homeless. It's remarkable that you're here today and that you've done so well with turning things around. Most people would not survive what you've survived. I feel very passionate about this project because becoming a mother changed me immensely. And the level of emotion I feel when I think about kids now not having a chance, like it, it really, it kills me with every cell in my body and I'm just not willing to let that happen. So I'm so excited for our partnership. I'm so excited to be taking on this battle with you and to fulfill this dream of yours to really eliminate trash bags across America for every single kid in foster care because you're right. These kids already have such a hard time at life and no foundation and then they're given a trash bag to carry the few belongings they have as opposed to like even being able to carry their own backpack to school. Why are we making it harder? We're gonna eliminate trash bags in America together and I know we're gonna do this and we're already doing it. It's gonna be amazing.